This is from Fox News. It says a 10 year old boy, a Florida boy slammed his local school board during a public meeting last week, calling the district's mask mandate unfair to kids during an emergency session on reopening guidelines. The boy later identified as John begins by describing himself as a student at Felix A. Williams Elementary School in Martin County. Um, and we'll play the, some of his remarks in just a second, but uh, not to get, not the spoiler alert here, not to spoil the ending, but following his remarks, the board voted four to one to keep masks mandatory for the remaining days of the current school year. In spite of what he had to say, the kids pleading with them, can we take the masks off? There's no reason for us to have the masks on to begin with. Uh, they, they elected to keep the masks on anyway, but I thought, uh, this kid, I mean, he's 10 years old and, uh, this is pretty eloquent for anyone of any age, let alone a 10 year old. Let's, uh, let's listen. I expected school to be a little bit different in the beginning, but I didn't think it would stay this way all year long. And I was surprised by the rules. A lot of them didn't make any sense to me, like the fact that we were not allowed to play on the playground or have student council or turn to face each other at lunch. And we also have to wear masks outside at PE and on track. I love my school and all, but my teachers seem really stressed, and that makes me feel bad. One teacher walks around with a clipboard full of referrals for any student whose mask isn't on properly. It makes me feel scared. That same teacher yells at us having our masks down to drink water while we are outside in Carline. She told us we had to wait until we were in our parents' car to have a drink of water. She had her mask down the entire time while she was yelling at us, which makes me and all my friends very mad. My mask also sticks to my face when it's really hot, and it makes it hard to breathe. I feel like I can't catch my breath, and that makes me feel claustrophobic and anxious. It's really stressful. I finished taking all of my FSAs, and I had a hard time focusing with a mask on. A few weeks ago, I ran into my teacher outside of school. She didn't even recognize me because she's never seen my face before. That, that, is, that last part there is just sad. Uh, it's also sad that this is a 10-year-old boy making a far more compelling argument against wearing masks than any adult on the other side of the issue has made in favor of, of children wearing the masks. Because they've never made any argument at all, really. It's, 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 it's their own fear and, uh, and, and disregard for the kids. That, that's all it is. There's never really any argument presented. And he went, that was longer than that. He went on for two and a half, three minutes. Um, Again, 10-year-old boy laying out the case. This is why we don't we should be wearing the masks. Trying to explain it to adults four or five times his age. Makes no difference. They keep the masks in place anyway. Listen, hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.